we're creek fishing again. This time, Davey picked me up this morning, drug me to another creek a buddy of ours let us know about. We are figuring out what are the best lures to have with you for late summer bass fishing whenever you're wading a creek. First lure we're going with is small topwater because they're more apt to eat a topwater in the morning. What I'm gonna do with it, I'm gonna look for shady pockets like we're sitting in right now. It's got deep spots in it. And I'm just gonna fan cast it all around. I'm gonna try to get as close to the bank as I can, as close to cover as I can. But inevitably, I'm gonna come over every little rock or anything that might be out there that might be holding the bass. And I'm just working this. This is a teeny torpedo. I'm just working it really slow, giving it little pops. If something's there, it's gonna come up and it's gonna eat it. Oh, I got one as soon as it hits the water. What do you know? <laughs> Now this fish, this was a perfect example of what I was talking about that top water because he bit it. I mean, as soon as I hit a rock right next to the bank, he bit it. That's what they're doing. They're sitting along the bank. They're waiting for something like a little frog, like this top water looks like to hop in the water. And man, they're trained. They're gonna go in there and they're gonna get that thing. All right, guys, we missed a couple of fish right here. So I'm gonna show you the lure I call the cleanup. All right, what we got here now, got a three inch yum dinger. It's a small stick bait. Got a little wacky rig hook. We're just gonna test this thing out wacky style. And th this, is, this is a super simple lure to fish. I'm just casting it out and I'm just letting it kind of drift in the current. And there's another one. I mean, it's a, this is a every cast bait. If there's fish in the area, they're gonna bite this thing. I mean, it don't matter if they're a bass or they are a big bluegill. They're gonna eat this thing. All right, our third option we've transitioned to is a small grub on a little 16th ounce jig head. This is a Bobby Garland stroller, it's a crappie bait. Huge tip, crappie and panfish baits, they are great to have with you whenever you're fishing in creeks because bass, everything eats them. All right, there's, there's some wind right now, so it makes a good time to throw this grub because it's a moving bait. You're gonna want some you know, disturbance in the water, make the bass a little more aggressive. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, cast it. I like to just cast it along the bank. So I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna make it move, man. I'm gonna hold my rod tip high and I'm gonna have this thing to where it's almost out of the water. It's just moving right underneath the surface. It just looks like a, got a little bite there. It just looks, oh, got him. He came back and got it. Looks just like a minnow, and man, these bass, they can't handle it. Sometimes you're reeling this grub along, you got you feel them just kind of tick it, just drop that thing. Just stop it, and they'll make that grub drop to the bottom, then you can pick it right back up. Oftentimes, they'll get it right whenever you pick it back up, just like that. Oh, man, get in here. You can see the tip of this rod just being straight over. That's because this, this is a light action rod. I mean, this is just a panfish crappie rod, and I recommend that for every bait that we're throwing out here today. Just have you a small bag full of all the, you know, the three baits that we talked about here, a grub, a top water, and a little stick bait, a little yum dinger worm so you can throw a wacky rig. Oh man, I got him right here. Man, this has been an absolute awesome day, hadn't it, Davey? There. Gosh, man. I think we made a pretty good point to take these three types of lures with you the next time you're creek fishing in the late summer. 